GM and I Jets 1975 coming at you with another video today. This time I'll be doing a video on the April 2017 Jim and I Jets releases. Uh, of course, I've got several special guests with me today. Uh, we have uh, Heathrow Champ. Please say hello. Hi. We have Heroes Aviation. Please say hello. Hello, guys. We have Citrus Aviation. Please say hello. And we have uh, Spotting ADL. Please say hello. Hello, fellow viewers. And we have Bryce's Aviation and Sirens. Please say hello. Say hello. All right. So let's get started, guys. Uh, I don't know what you guys think of these releases, but I think they're actually pretty good. Uh, unfortunately, there was a problem or something happened with the Hawaiian uh, releases, so they are not on here anymore. But when they were first announced, they were. So, uh, anywho, let's get started here. Uh, number one, uh, Aeromar ATR42, registration XATKJ, retail for $38.95. Um, Aeromar used to be a regional affiliate of Mexicana. I'm not totally sure what they're doing now, if they're affiliated with anyone. If someone knows, please let me know. Uh, but they are still a regional carrier, so that's all that matters. So if you have a Mexican airport, this is probably a really good model for you. Uh, next, um, several people have been waiting on this. I know one person for sure, or several actually, uh, that will probably get this. We have the Air Canada Airbus A321 uh, registration C-GJWO. Uh, Retail forty one ninety five. Yeah, right. Uh, amazing looking model. Uh, probably more detailed than the uh, Aero Classics version, but uh, that's okay. So um, probably not going to get this one since I did get the Aero Classics. Although if you want to buy it from me for a nice price, I will be more than happy to. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, to consider your offer. So. Um, you know, ask away. Uh, also, there's the Air Canada Rouge Airbus A319. Uh, this one I am definitely getting because, you know, uh, it'll round out my Rouge fleet, and I've been wanting one for a long time. And also, the Aero Classics version is very, very rare and very expensive. So uh, I will be getting this model as well. Uh, or I'll, not as well, but I will be getting this model. Um, also, there's the Alaska Mortal Love. Um, let's see here. 739 Mortal Love. You got uh, registration N493AS retail 41.95. If they do, do not mess up on the color, um, that's a big if and a big keep your fingers crossed. Uh, this is going to be an absolutely amazing model. Um, so everyone, you know, keep your fingers crossed that uh, they don't mess it up. But if they don't, I am definitely going to get this one. Yes, please uh, tell me Citrus Aviation a, a little bit what you found out about Aramar. Wow. So they are, yeah, it probably hurt them a lot when Mexicana went belly up. That They were a Mexicana affiliate before, correct? Does it say? Still there? Um, oh. They're not, they're not anymore. Well, no, I know they, they aren't now, but weren't they before? Uh, yeah, they were. Okay, that's what I thought. Okay. Because I could have sworn I saw them in their timetables. Um, anyway, thank you for that info. Uh, very interesting. I'm glad to see that my memory has not completely failed me. Uh, Delta 763 is the next one. N143DA. Uh, DA not meaning district attorney or the other meaning of DA. Uh, retail for $47.95. Take a look at that. Um, 
So you have the Wi-Fi box, the antenna as usual. This is an amazing aircraft for the Delta Lover, for the Delta Hub, for, well, just about, you know, well, most airports that Delta's, Delta flies to. So I highly recommend it. Um, who knows how many more releases of that there will be before they are gone. Okay, next we have the Iran Air A330-200. Let me check something here. Okay, Iran Air A330. Uh, since the United States government has allowed our aircraft manufacturers to sell to Iran Air, um, unfortunately, this is not a Boeing plane, so that really doesn't matter in this case, but eventually they will be getting Boeing aircraft. So um, it's nice to see, you know, you know, things uh, changing uh, in the world. So at least for the better, for the most part. So, but anyway, um, and let me see, what else do we have? Uh, next is the Saudi Arabian 747 SP. Oh, Boeing did not get business. I thought they did. Okay. Uh, Boeing 747 SP HZHM. 1B retail for a whopping $57.95, the most expensive 1 to 400 model in this release. Um, this would fly from my airport, but I do not want one, so therefore I'm not going to get it. Um, but it, it would make the distance from San Antonio to Riyadh. In fact, just a little side note, uh, Braniff, one reason Braniff got the 747 SP was to fly the oil route that they called it. It was from, ooh, that was messed up. It was from Dallas-Fort Worth and Houston to Riyadh. Uh, and also TWA got the aircraft to fly New York City to Riyadh. Uh, obviously neither one of those happened. Okay, last but not least in the 1 to 400, um, Virgin Atlantic Airbus A340 600, uh, retail for $48.95. Um, G Vale, V E I L, interesting. Okay, the Saudi 747 is a government aircraft, so yeah, I definitely wouldn't get it then. Okay. There you go. I do have some interesting nicknames for this aircraft. Unfortunately, they are not appropriate for a public video on YouTube, so I will not repeat them. Uh, needless to say, you know, they are not appropriate. So anyway, um, I think they are getting rid of these eventually. It is not my favorite airplane, so um, I will not be getting one. Plus, I have uh, a 787. Okay. Let me see how much I have now since I've been rambling. I don't have much time. So before I end, because I'm not really going to cover the one, to, uh, I'm not really going to cover the one to 200. So let me, um, go ahead and, oh my gosh, G dash veil has, so they made a model out of a plane that does not fly anymore. That just, yeah, that makes total sense. Okay, let me know, guys, what aircraft you are planning to get. Let me know what you think of these releases, good, bad, indifferent. Uh, hate them, love them, want to burn them in a trash can. I don't care which. Uh, just let me know how you feel and what, if any, models you're going to get. Again, to repeat, I am getting the Rouge A319. It would be nice to round out the Rouge fleet and to help my Toronto Pearson Airport. And also the Alaska More to Love. I've been waiting for this to be a model since I first saw the aircraft, not in real life, but a picture. And if the Hawaiians were still here uh, right there, I would be getting one of those too. I do still plan on getting a Hawaiian A330. Uh, excuse me. Even though the 763 uh, is very appropriate for my airport. So thank you guys so much. Please, uh, um, Please go visit my subscribers. I'm getting close to my recording limit. Uh, please go visit them and subscribe. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe on this video. And I will see you in the next one as always. See ya.